Now is the time to showcase your gifts to the world Artists and lyrics Artists and lyrics The gifts of a man make it We're back again on Movie Week on Artists and Lyrics and we're doing it today with one of the finest movie minister in person of Shilo Joel at the Luma she takes one of the lead roles in the spoken movie and we're going to be talking about her character today however do not forget to follow us on ap radio united kingdom every thursday 5 through 5 30 pm and on mc radio london every thursday 7 through 7 30 pm london time sunday youtube channel Let's see part of my guest performance in the movie and after that she will come in for the I told you I was sorry. I told you it was okay. Why are you taking this step? Just to be sure. Sure of what? I want to be sure that I trust you. What's that? Woman, it's a simple call. We submit our samples, we get our results and put this matter to rest once and for all. Simple. That will not happen. I won't allow them to submit any sample for any test. You won't allow who? Our children, they're not going for any test. You won't allow your children to go for the test? I won't. If you choose not to believe me, you can, you can as well go to... Oh, I can as well go to hell. Thank you so much, sir, for having me. My name is Shiloh Jewel Adalmo. I'm a child of God. I'm a worship minister and a drama minister as well. I was born into the family of clergy, full-time ministers. My dad was a therapist, my mom was a nurse and a midwife. I use the word was because they went into full time ministry. They are in full time ministry to the state, which they went into before I was born. Um, I am the fourth child of four children. So I'm the last one. I'm also the only girl child. I'm the only lady, you know. Mm -hmm. So my name came by prophecy, you know, by instructions from God. It was by God telling her that, see, you have three boys, this one is going to be a girl. And you call her Shiloh, for mm. she shall sing. As just as the Lord told my parents, as soon as I was born and I was talking, I was singing. I was born in Kwara State, Ilori, primary school in Ilori, part of secondary school in Ilori, and the rest of Kogi State. When I traveled to my mom for mission work and church planting, and then um, did university, I studied zoology in the University of Ilori. I'm running my master's right now in business administration. University of Glory. I acted in primary school, acted and sang secondary school, acted in the drama unit and also sang in the fellowship. And um, opportunities were opening up, opening up. And uh, sometimes it would be like nothing was coming. Mm -hmm. And one of those days I went for a rehearsal. I wanted to go for a mass fire rehearsal, but found myself in the rehearsal for a mass fire and even moved. And so, well, I, I, I engaged, I went there, we went, went on set, we shot the movie that was gone back home back then. And um, after it, as God would have it, there was a character in the movie, Gone Back Home, that was not cast. Mm. So, um, Evangelist Shola asked our guy in the choir, that was Pastor Lake Joel, um, to invite somebody from the choir. Then he invited me, I took the role. And from there, that was when I began to act. There was a space of time that I didn't act even, but then that was how gradually I began to act before my Eventually, many years after, I think about eight or so years after, uh, I acted in spoken with yeah, So a large extent that in drama ministry, even has been a huge platform for me. I've acted also with other ministries, um, also righteousness drama ministries and you know others, but even has been um, what pushed me and groomed me so far. Mm. Serving with Ivom and all the wonderful, wonderful people who grew up, who I grew up to watch as my heroes in drama, I, I, I was starstruck and I had to deal with lots of nerves, you know, nervousness. And but one way I overcame that was speaking in tongues. I would mm. do my homework, I tried by God's grace to understand the script, understand the character. You know, study my script, memorize my script, because if even you cannot improvise, you have to know what has been given to you. Beautiful because it's the Christian community we are working with. It's not just the movie industry, Christian drama ministry, not just an industry. So 
People mm. are there with the vision. It's the Christian community. So even though you have been watching them growing up, when you eventually get to work with them, you know, they are just sweet, wonderful and humble people that have just given themselves to, to love God. So it was, it is a privilege, what a privilege to work. And I look forward to always to keep working with them again. And Prophet mm. Niyadidile, Shala, my Kakola, and you know, all of them, it was, I had nerves. It was a challenge for me that Jesus, so how am I going to, you know, but it came, it came with me, smiles, we had little free runs, and then we were able to take it. I, I think that um, the the result, the, the excellent result that we had wouldn't have been like that if I was not uh, welcome. That atmosphere of what together in God and serving mm -hmm. God together was not there because I had lots of nerves. And of course, of course, whenever, aside that one personality, I, I'm just spending time praying the Holy Ghost. Mm. Uh, let us talk about spoken movie, and that is exactly why you're here today. We're talking about your role. You play the role of a lawyer and a wife, Christian wife for that matter. Someone who loves to be constantly involved in hot argument with her husband, either to prove a point or to hurt the man. I want you to put yourself in the position of the viewers. Would you say Miss Williams' character is a reflection of her profession or she is not just mature enough to handle sensitive issues? Would you credit a woman like Miss Williams for her attitude? If yes, why? And if no, what would you advise a woman like Miss Williams? Um, I believe that that's even what the whole movie is about. Because if a person cannot, to a large extent, control the words that they speak, it will be difficult to judge or to defend their character. People who go to study law already have the potential before they went to study. So it's because they don't like um, injustice or for whatever reason they went ahead to study law. So now that they went to study law, they just become better people in what they already have potential for, do you understand? It's just like being a nurse as well. I, I want to care for people, I went to study nursing, I am able to care for people better. So the lawyer, there was a lawyer and a lawyer before they got admission to study law, eventually became a lawyer. So they just become better uh, um, arguers if they choose to argue. Now in real life, I know lots of lawyers that may not necessarily be argumentative outside the court, mm. you know? So it might just be a professional thing, but at the same time, I'm saying it can be an innate nature. And there are many people that can argue and they're not lawyers. Mm. And if they go to court, they might be able to defend themselves. So it all still boils down to personality and allowing the Holy Ghost, which is the message of that movie, allowing the Holy Ghost to help us to tame our tongue because our tongue and the words we speak is a very first judge of our character. The Bible mm. says that the one who is able to tame his tongue is stronger than a man that takes the city. So imagine if when the other man said what she said, she was able to be calm and be submissive and just express her displeasure without seeking to hurt back. She would have been the virtuous woman in the whole scenario. So I feel that many times, which which was the suggestion I was going to give, many times our words rather than vindicate us, trap us in mm. so, so if you are angry, don't talk. Women um, scientifically have uh, better propensity to express themselves. And that's why you see more gossip are women. <laughs> you see more, more, more fights, or so to speak, among women. And it's not just because they want to fight, they want to gossip, but it's easy to express. You know, it's easy and it has all its advantages. A woman can keep things so hard in her heart, she will easily quickly go and pray about it or tell a friend about it can all go to a counselor about when men are still trying to be men you know they will not go for therapy they will not go to a counselor so i feel that we men in any relationship we find ourselves should learn uh, the art of speaking i believe mm -hmm. that it is the outworking of the spirit of god in the life of a person if you don't allow the holy ghost you won't be able to achieve that it's not something that we can do for ourselves both men know both women know because mm -hmm. why would a man you marry someone, you should lock up. And in an argument, but then, I, I like the way that Ishala wrote that. Try that up at once. 
If you don't see that argument, he didn't show us what started. See, today, we don't know what started the argument. But rather than dealing with the issue of the argument, they began to tackle each other. They began to bust each other. And eventually, marriage almost fell apart. Mm -hmm. Children almost became casualties and victims of what? Speech. There, there was this trend that was going on on um, um, Christian social media. And I was saying the Holy Ghost doesn't just help you to speak in tongues and pray. He helps you to know when to shut up. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe that many of us need to allow the Holy Ghost to help us to break through you know, our tongue and know when to talk, how to talk, you know where to talk, and mm -hmm. when to refrain from talking and in fact who to talk to because mm -hmm. she could have she could have going back to the power panel she could have miss williams could have handled it in a much better way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what can you say about artists and lyrics when you see something that god instituted you know mm -hmm. it's a huge encouragement to ministers in this day and age Mm -hmm. I, 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 I honor God because people are serving God, doing what God has called them to do, expecting no reward whatsoever. And then, you know, you, you, you approach them, there's a platform, they get to talk. It's a, it's a breath of fresh air and it's a huge encouragement for everyone who is serving God out there. So I just want to say thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for yielding yourself to God. Thank you for taking it upon yourself um, for actors and movies and even for artists and lyrics, mm. putting people's work onto your website where it's easily accessible. That is, that, that has something more from God's heart. It takes a huge mm. heart to do all the work involved in that and just give people a pedestal and a platform mm. to be heard and for the things that God has put in their hands to have ability. I want to say thank you on behalf of everyone who has been on this platform who will be again come on it's a wonderful future of Kaya mm. Who are your role models? In terms mm. of drama ministry, uh, I, I want to say that my my role models would be uh, the Ebom World Network, as they mm. call, and of course Mount Zion movies. The reason is because of the excellence and the depth and the focus. But I've never seen a set of ministers who are more focused, you know, they are doing seemingly mundane things, you know, sometimes playing a lot because they have to be in a character, but still maintaining the depth and, of, of, and the quality of the presence of God, of the word of God. And that's the kind of place I want to find myself. They have, they have maintained over over decades, even Mount Zion, they are the ones that I see, and I see the excellence, I see Mm. The, the singleness of focus and I see the spirituality, the depth of spirituality mm. because you can't be so lost in acting that you forget that it's a ministry. Because mm. in that way, you know, you'll be left to be just an entertainer and you're not actually minister. So these mm. people inspire me a lot. Um, of course, I follow Pastor Kunle for I follow Pastor so Ani uh, Yaditloye, I follow Reverend Tolu Alubu and of mm. course my very own spiritual and physical parent, um, Apostle Doctor and Reverend Atalimo. I have a wonderful, rich, rich spiritual heritage. So mm. I am grateful to God for that. I'm proud of it, but more so I am challenged and humbled to make sure that I do everything that God has put in my hands. Well, my dear sister Shilo Jewel. Thank you so much for coming and we say God bless thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and for the audience out there, we just want to say thank you. It is me, Kunle Major, all the time. My name has not changed. Eshe Ganema. Okay, take care. Watch my talk.